<laughs> but, uh, okay, this is going to be interesting. What was one of the characters that uh, a lot of people have found to be pretty good against Alomar? Right. Just because he has really good hitboxes for dealing with Pikmin and he can combo really well. Mm -hmm. is, is, this is the matchup that Void uses to uh, fight Alomar typically instead of Pichu because that's usually known to be a difficult matchup. And already, Sakurai start, starting off with a quick 43%. That up smash scoop hitbox is just so wide. Uh, Zachary did uh, lose to DeBuzz at Genesis, but other than that, I think he's uh, amazing at this matchup. And uh, Wolf is a really strong character to use for Salmar in general. <laughs> nice. Going for that grab. Putting him on off stage again. The down smash, I feel like he might have had an idea where if he hit the Pikmin, it would extend the hurt box even longer. So then potentially get a two frame, but didn't quite come out there. Nice. Anti air. That up tilt is so sneaky, man. People forget that it's just his. Uh, this is a strong kill option that has like an up smash even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially when you need it quick and it can reach a platform like that. Very solid option coming from Jack Ray. Oh man, he's moving really well. Getting rid of the Pikmin, just throwing out the safe hit boxes. Like he uses the shine as well. Uh, if he does know that he's going to throw out an up smash on his landing, he can actually throw out the shine and like throw it back in his face. All right, the red keeps him off stage one more time. Not able to find the spacing though. Gives him a little bit of room, and yeah, that's going to be a Zachary's opportunity to try to come back. But the purple, you got to be careful about those when they're in the lineup because they'll send you into tech chase situation, and all of a sudden you're already back in a bad position. Oh, nice high wolf flash. If you went to the ledge, you can't get a cover that with like a force smash. Mm -hmm. right, face back uses the laser to protect himself as well. That's why I'm seeing a lot of wolves do more often now, rather than spam into neutral. They'll use it to either defend themselves while they're coming back uh, and landing to the stage, or just to pressure them uh, when they have a better position. Usually not in neutral as much anymore. And wow, a quick chase with the nice. back air. Shuton not ready for it either. Yeah, I like the setup all the way from one side of the stage to the other. That wolf forward air is just so good at like every person who drinks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically a chic bear. You can combo into itself very nicely and set us up for a lot of reliable stuff too. There it is again. Brought to about trying to get rid of the Pikmin. Oh man, Nimshar is so good against Alomar. It's like he wants to anti air with the up smash, but it just plays with like the Pikmin. And then he lands on top of him with a really good hitbox that you can get like combos from. Juggle situation. Now Shutan decides to just give him some room. He is down though, so I feel like he wants to get that chip damage with the Pikmin first. Doesn't want to hard commit. Yeah, but still, even with that ledge situation, already taking on a lot of damage. And Zachary in a really good position to try and close out this stock real soon. This needs like a couple more laser hits, or that grab will be able to do it. Put him in a nice percent. Yeah, it's a decent lineup here for Shutan, but the way that Zachary is playing around the Pikmin, he's not really able to abuse it as much. Like, he's not able to get away with these other snipes like a lot of Almars do. But the snipe with the purple, nice. Yep. Catching the air dodge. Mm -hmm. Usually when you're trying to edge guard Wolf, you have to do it before either the Wolf Flash or the Up Beast start coming out because that hitbox is usually very reliable. Yeah. But Shutan, he has that purple Pikmin to be able to use that and be able to go ham off stage. Not to not be afraid of trying to edge guard Wolf. Oh. Alright, go for that cheeky Nair Wolf Flash setup. Definitely would have been enough to kill at this point. Not going to kill any Pikmin. Oh, poor Steve. Okay. He's gone. And the up smash, Perfect. though. olimar has gone, too. Perfect ledge trap there from uh, from Zachary. Just using the down tilt to get rid of the Pikmin. They come in the jump with the up smash. Uh, part of what makes Zachary so good is that he uh, has a good combo game, but he's also just very patient. Mm -hmm. So, like, he won't fish for the kill option when you're at kill percent. He'll just wait for you to make a mistake and punish really well. Yeah, I think in general, Zachary's positioning is also really important too, because he puts himself in a position where even Shutan tries to space it, he's usually gonna get clipped by a forward smash just because, or excuse me, an up smash just because there's not enough room, or he's in a good position where he knows, okay, Shutan's gonna land here, and he doesn't have too many options. You saw, like, he tried to go on the platform, he was already ready underneath with the up tilt, for example. He's able to use his positioning uh, and be two steps ahead of his opponent since Wolf doesn't necessarily have too much speed to be able to just continuously pressure and catch up instead. Exactly. Alrighty, here we go. I just, I just gotta say, I love these overlays. You know, yeah, really like really emulating the, the Samus visor in the yeah. Metroid Prime games. But right, here we go. Go ahead and get things started here. I uh, wonder if he's picking the Smashville pick here just because it's a little bit of a smaller stage and he can probably get in on a wolf a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I think also the, just the arc of the Pikmin is usually <laughs> going to cover like most of the stage. Uh, so I feel like you're going to get guaranteed Pikmin grabs 
more often than uh, on a wide stage like what Stadium 2. So I can see why they're doing this. Nice, get the up air through the legs, see if you can add some pressure here, okay? I like uh, Almar's double jab uh, for the tech chase setups. Alright, gets oh, the chase. Oh, my yes. goodness. That was so good. Yep. I don't see that that often in this game, but... I feel like the, the most common person I've seen do it is Charlie, just because he's the wolf that I see most often. But uh, definitely a lot of wolves have been doing those setups. I usually see it like in a suicide spike yeah. setup, but that time, just from center stage, is able to kill. Yeah, that makes it even scarier because like you don't have to worry about training a stock for it. It's just even more of a scary kill setup. Yeah, very smart option. Ooh, quick down tilt. Going to be able to cover himself as he lands with that Nair and picks him up again with the up smash. Shion's really going to have to find a way to get past that. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. He puts him in the air, and then all of a sudden, Olimar's got to make a decision. He goes for a quick option like a back air just in case he tries a fastball, and it's, uh, he has enough time to clip him with the F smash as he's landing back to the ground. Yeah, that's a really good landing trap there. No, exactly. I like uh, Olimar's landing options in the first place just aren't that great, but nice. Charge F smash with the purple, just cover the uh, spot dots and neutral get up. Yeah. Keeping the game really close. Mm -hmm. Right. Neutral air to come back to the stage. Oh, and that's a really good start there, getting that up smash out in time. Oh, that, this is a really good lineup right now for Shiton too. Mm -hmm. Oh, two purples, yeah. Has them both out now, but Zachary's trying to get something going. He's getting a lot of damage at the ledge just because Wolf, his ledge trapping is so good, able to keep his opponents off for a very long time. As he get nice. back up, great tech. Yeah, he has to take that. Don't know how many of those he can survive because of the, the knockback, though. Okay. Let's the dash attack. Oh, that was almost a really good landing trap, but Shudan sneaking right behind him with the F smash. Very, very close, though. Mm -hmm. He had the right idea. Shudan did land right in front of him yeah. for the F smash. It's just, I think, a timing mix up that he didn't quite get. He thought that he had enough time, <laughs> and Shudan just kind of slipped through. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> to that uh, Zachary poster in the back. <laughs> yeah, I love Sid whenever she makes those types of posters. <laughs> so funny. Very nice stuff. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going 1-1 one, one in the set here. Feels like the, the stage, like I said before, did help out a lot. Was, uh, able to get more guaranteed damage as Olimar. Still overall, that was really close. Zachary is able to string things really nicely. And that's what you gotta do against Olimar, you can't let him play his game. Because as soon as he starts being able to frustrate you, you gotta keep your calm and then once you finally get in, you gotta go hand on Olimar. Yeah, exactly. Like again, uh, he doesn't have the best landing options and kind of like Wolf with really good hitboxes, you can punch him super well. And yeah, he just read two whistles in a row, he was able to read both of them and get a solid amount of damage out of it. Very smart stuff from Zachary. Yeah. Uh, wow, he actually Aim this up a little bit higher just to catch that. Up mm -hmm. oh, B from Wolf, still a really strong kill option as well. Ooh, and just knacks him again in the air, that back here. Still, <laughs> still clipping Shuton. I mean, it's so difficult for Shuton to really think of anything except maybe armor, but armor through. But again, Zachary's been reading those, so it's just a big mix up game now. Yeah, that is. It's, uh, it's really rough, man, because Shuton was able to win that last game, but then Zachary just comes right back and just shuts him down. Now that he can work off his momentum, really. Shuton's Freight doesn't know if it was going to cross up or not, I'm, I don't think, so he just decides to let the dash attack play out. Turning back to neutral here, Zachary still trying to go in, and he gets to parry in, tries to get a punish, but the up smash comes out instead. There is only a three frame advantage, so if you start jumping and going around, then uh, your opponent can probably nick you with something. Exactly. Okay. He's going to cover the... Oh! I was... Thinking he would try to cover the wolf flash by staying on stage, but he tried to go for a down air and immediately trade the stock for it. That's like the last thing you want to happen when you try to edge guard that move. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Zachary just building on this lead so so well. Couldn't oh. punish the wolf flash on stage either. Went the wrong way on his grab. Yeah. I don't know if he like hit too hard on the, the direction or what, but that was just unfortunate. But he's gonna get clipped by that back air, it looks like. Trying to keep things even, but still, Zachary, two stock lead, and it's fresh too, so we'll have to see how it goes down. You see the Nair timing just immediately killed two Pikmin as soon as he tried to throw them out. Oh, yeah. Look, there, there's two gone already. Right? Yeah, yeah, just uh, killing those Pikmin was really big too because he got that down throw, but he couldn't follow up with anything. He yeah. doesn't have a Pikmin in hand. Yeah. Unfortunate. Really good awareness from Zachary. It was just showing why Wolf is so good in this matchup. Also, gotta appreciate his spacing too on his aerials. 
So good. Yeah, big grab though. Big positioning. The purple puts him back off stage. Oh, and nice catches the jump. jump. Yeah. Okay. Oh, doesn't get the purple snipe, but he's in a really good spot. Oh, you can't escape the Olimar up smash. That shield was so low that you thought you had. You were pretty much forced to jump away there. Yeah, that was like three different sets. It's like, keep him off stage, force him to use up B. I'm going to catch him with his ledge trap. I'm going to seal out the stock. Boom. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, it's an even game. All right. Olimar with the stock leak is one of the carries that can really frustrate you and uh, keep you out really well. Nice clear grab out of shield. Oh, the bayonet oh. actually kills the white Pikmin. Oh, but again, the percentage is just climbing. All of a sudden, Shuton is being able to play his game. Zachary looking like he's trying to figure out how to seal out the stock before things get too hairy, but I think it's a little bit too late. Now he's oh. just got to think about himself being able to seal out the stock first before Shuton. And he still has a really strong lineup with two purples and the blue. Oh, right. trying to clip him with the back arrow again. Yeah. Doesn't quite find it, but the Nair going to send him off stage once more. Oh, he, just, he barely air dodged out of the way for the purple, but he still lets him get <laughs> back to the stage, man. That's the strength of having these purples in your lineup because you have to block them or spot dodge them. Finds a corner on that oh. DI with the back throw. Oh, but two purples. Yeah, that's going to defend them on these edge guard situations very nicely. And still sending him to tumble. Oh. And he's going to catch him on the drop down from the platform. Wow. This is best of five. Yeah. <laughs> I see Zachary standing up. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's. I think it's uh, best of five. Okay, he's telling him. <laughs> oh, shoot, I thought he won the set. Oh, my uh, God. Well, Zachary uh, thought he lost the set, too. Yeah. He just, like, stood up. He's like, ah, man. That was an insane comeback from Shoot on, by the yeah, way. Yeah, very nice stuff. That's the thing. Like, that's what I was saying earlier. Even though he was down, like, 90%, it was dead even because, shoot, like, Olimar can just all of a sudden you blink and the percentage just comes back. Yeah. So, right now, the score is going to be 2 1, Shoot on's favor. We'll see, have to see how Zachary plays around this because Shutan has been making these comebacks work very nicely. No, it's also interesting too since these are like the two top players, the uh, top two in Japan right now, playing like at a local. Like this would normally be like grand finals potentially, but it's just winter semis at like a local. What was That's on crazy. the other side of winter semis? Uh, was it was Gluttony and um, uh, MK Leo. MK Leo. Yeah. They got, a, got a little bit of diversity. Um, NA is sort of uh, falling behind right now. Uh, just, uh, got well, Mexico, we are only EU. In the, <laughs> I'm counting uh, Mexico as NA. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> You're close enough to SoCal, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Zachary looking to... Oh, okay. I was wondering if we were ever going to see him pull out this uh, Lucina. This is uh, his third character along with Wario. Mm -hmm. And uh, I haven't seen him use it in tournament because, uh, I don't know, I was just curious what character he would want to go uh, Lucina for. So. I think Zachary is very similar to MKLeo in that they're just fundamentally good at the game. So when they pick up certain characters, it just works out fine. Because he's been winning a bunch of tournaments with Pokemon Trainer back in Japan, too. And so, Rob. Yeah. And Mad Knight. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. And MKLeo claims that he has a bunch of high-level characters as well. So He did beat Glutamy earlier with his Wario, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see, but right now, uh, Shuton's just saying, I I'm ready for this Lucina right now. I'm glad you switched off that wolf. I'm having a much easier time mm -hmm. doing with this. I feel like just in general, he doesn't have to really worry about how Lucina spaces because uh, Olimar's not really a melee character. You can just throw Pikmin outside of the range to where Zachary wants you to be in, and then just get tumble situations with the purple Pikmin, and all of a sudden you're at the ledge, and this is where Lucina can struggle a little bit more with the spacing since he's trying to more focus on getting back in rather than uh, oh, trying to get something going. but there's the deep forward air. That's why you really like this character Lucina. can go so hard off stage. If you don't have a jump or you're forced to air dodge, good luck, man. Yeah. But there's a blue up throw. Mm -hmm. Immediately evening up the stocks. Yeah, immediately tosses away the blue one too. Let's see what he gets out of it. Red into yellow. He's actually keeping these two. And now he's finally got the white, but it's going to be uh, falling to <laughs> Zachary's hitboxes once more. Oh, nice pressure at the ledge from Zachary, keeping up the percent here. But oh, lands on top of him with the down. Unfortunately, not going to follow up. Ooh. Gotta worry about this purple here. Nice covering this pause with the jab. But still, yeah, I, I think it's just been a pretty big struggle for Zachary to get around the purple uh, pick mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Oh, scoops him back up. That up there to look like it wasn't quite going to connect. Gets that parry. Yeah, he used the parry to get stage control instead of going for like a punish immediately. Mm -hmm. Oh, purple stays on stage, but wow, the beautiful uh, dolphin slash goes right in that angle where he wants to recover. Yeah. 
spots him right out of the air. Really great stuff from Zach Ray. Yeah, very Love similarly, him. you'll see like Nico, he'll do like the air slash with Shulk. It covers yeah, such that, a wide yeah, range. Yeah. You can go low, go back up, and like both the high and low recoveries are pretty much covered there. Yeah, really good comparison. Mm -hmm. Nice. Building on this lead here from Zach Ray, applying the pressure. Goes super hard with the downer. Kona a ledge jump, maybe. A blue and a purple does a very nice lineup to try and seal out the stock. Yellow's on. <laughs> Zachary right now, we'll see how he tries to close it out. Nice. Tries to read a jump, but it's not able to find it. Zachary staying grounded, oh, and he the gets the kill. Perfect spacing dips right where he wants to jump in air dodge and just throws out the back air before he can even think of doing anything. That Lucina in the back pocket coming out the two stock. Mm -hmm. Super well, strong. I think picking the Lucina was very, very smart just because Wolf. Just because the recovery is not as great, it's very risky for him to really go for those low type of the edge guards, which is what Shu Tong was getting very comfortable with. Mm. All of a sudden, boom, I got the Lucina. I'm going to go deep, and you're not going to be ready for it. That's two stocks that he went low with, yeah. able to get those edge guards. Very critical for bringing us into a Game 5 scenario. Yeah, especially since, you know, Shu Tong's been adapting to the Wolf really well. This is a great time to just pull up the Lucina. But here we go, Game 5. Let's see if Shu Tong can adapt again. On Pokemon Stadium 2, this stage has been working out really well for him. He's been controlling the center stage really well, and uh, once Zachary's forced to deal with these two side platforms, he just stays under him and he throws like all these combos out. Yeah. We'll see though, once Zachary's got a hit and put him in disadvantage, he's just been really pushing it super far. Yeah. As long as he can get like a good 50 to 60, we saw his that last stock, he lost it at like 69% or something like that. So, yeah, that was before the back air too, so. Yeah. Crazy, crazy kill potential. Mm -hmm. Already off of trades, getting a 57%. Chase? Ah, no tech chase though. Oh, getting the anti air in time. That's another thing that she was got to worry about. When you lay on top of him, you can't necessarily throw out the up smash because it'll just click, uh, click with the sword. Mm -hmm. oh. Nice. Okay. The blue. Yeah, back thrown back off. Not quite the percent to be able to get the kill. Oh man, they just. Trying to space around the pearl, but nice uh, dash. Uh, like the pivot, the dash pivot cancel. The pivot cancel, yeah. He got a little bit of extra room with that, and he's able to get a chase off of that. Okay. Still in the air. Air dodges through. Still able to find a pivot grab, actually. Throws him back off stage. Let's see how he tries to get this stock here. Oh, and he actually clips wow. a dolphin slash with that Pikmin. That's actually so hard to time, but yeah. <laughs> that purple uh, downer must be super active for him to hit that. Right. Uh oh, but this is a scary spot to be. Up tilt, pick him back up. Back air to put him back off stage. And getting a bunch of damage to oh, boot, too. One good edge guard, back. one good fair. That could potentially be the stock already. Zachary making Shuton's stock disappear in a blink of an eye. He just needs one good hit. But finally, Shuton's able to find some position thanks to the purple Pikmin tumble one more time. Yeah, luckily, he was also able to rack up quite a bit of percent with the white Pikmin as well. Nice double jab into the fair. Oh, the shield's so low, but Zachary immediately retreats. Oh. Oh, the tech chase read too. The tech roll behind. Very nice coverage with that down smash. Who's going to take out the stock first? Up tilt, still not enough to do it. Oh, nice. Getting the grab here. He's going to put him right back in the air exactly where he wants him. Nice. Jumps at him, baits out the air dodge, and immediately punishes. Yeah, that was, timing. that was two step baiting. He basically down through, and then he dashed, tried to elicit a reaction. He used his double jump, then he thought to himself, oh shoot, I got to do something. He went to the ledge, and then the air dodge came out, and that was just easy pickings for Zachary to be able to take out that stock. Yeah, that's just, again, Zachary's patience and timing on his moves is just really impressive. Doesn't matter if he's using the, uh, oh, that's a free shield break. Oh, <laughs> he's pushing just a little bit. This is a uh, slightly increase the chances of getting that stock. Mm -hmm. Hey, she's yeah. on here, staying alive in the game. Off stage, though, this is what we've seen. Zachary just rack up so much percent. Oh, luckily Monique is here to apply the shield <laughs> pressure because he was... Uh, really without the Pikmin there. Yeah, that was looking really scary. All of a sudden, even game right now. Trying to go for those down tilt tech chases. Not able to find anything, though. Great Paper paper grab. comes out. Oh, and he still has that purple, but he doesn't get the backer out. Okay. What can you do here? Nice. Oh, so oh. scary in mid-range here, but covers the spot dash. Oh, nice. Nice call out on the directional air dodge. He was figuring out that he was trying to get away from him as soon as possible. The ledge trap, not able to find anything. Tries to read the jump, puts him in a bad position oh, because no of it. No purple and no Pikmin left. How is he going to get to the ground? Zary's He's not letting not it happen. Very scary. Very low recovery. He can't oh, afford to do tech. that, but he gets attack. Still not enough no to Pikmin. take it off the top. Oh, he gets a purple out. Oh, oh my goodness. This is exactly <laughs> the one he needed. Oh, my God. Oh and my he's God. able to so get close. him off his back finally. Oh, there's the purple. Oh, no, the red back air. Still not quite enough to do oh, it. Oh, he goes for the snipe. But, oh, the SD. 
The fear. Oh my god, he was so scared of the purple snipe on his jump that he uses up a really awkward spot. Yeah. He wasn't able to come back. Oh he he did God. the neutral air dodge and fast fell through to try and avoid the purple Pikmin. That was great positioning from Shutan. Oh and then he had no options left after that. Great stuff. Great set. Wow. That was so 